February 11, 2016. Okay, what happened to this holder? The complaint is limping. Limping, yeah, on the left. On the left hind leg. It may on the left hind leg for one or two weeks, right? Mm. Before that, when she bought it from the pet shop, it was okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, this dog is very active, so so must she jump up and down so yeah. far? So far? She she actually will jump even if we put the fencing, she'll just jump around and she'll stand and then hop, 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 and okay. She really thinks that she's a rabbit, that's why. Mm. So this is due to the dog being very active and it's quite common. And uh, so when the owner says that the dog is limping, so we put, we put it on the table first and can see. In this case, you can see actually that the left leg, where you hold the chest, uh, hold the hook, put the, put the hand here. You can see that this dog definitely is not putting the, the weight down on the left leg, that's it, lifting it up. But where is the right leg, she, she puts the leg down. This is an eight month old poodle. So you can see this, this left leg. Are you sure it's two, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So from here, you can tell that uh, there's something uh, not right on the left hind leg. So now, one of the examination is wait, you know, on. one of the examination is is we we, we uh, extend the hip, extend the hip, and then you see behind. You can see that the right, okay. the left hind leg is longer. It's a bit longer, not very much, but a bit. Do you see it? It come behind yeah, yeah, me. I see. Behind, behind me, go behind me. You can see, yeah. Uh, okay, that is the sign of. Uh, Luxation, dislocation. It's not very much. Now, normally I would do straight like that. Okay, you can see it's slight on it. Okay, then we put the dog down. Be okay, ready, put the dog down onto the side. Okay, uh, put down the base on the side. There, yeah. uh, on the side. So you hold, you hold here first, hold here. And then we will check the, or you put a hand down like that. Okay, first hold tightly first. Huh? Then I will just check, just do a general checkup. See whether any fracture of the the toes or not. So we just check like this. Extend and flex. There's no pain. Abduct, abduct, no pain. Okay, then we go onto the the other joints. Okay, then the hop joint. Okay, nothing. Then we go to the knee. Knee, there's a bit of pain. But the patella is okay. The patella joint. Then now, uh, you now we go to the hip. The hip is where the joint, the pain is, you can see the dog is reacting to it. Uh, so okay, uh, so that, that is painful. No, it's painful. So we know, okay, so we know the problem is on the hip joint. Now after that, we do the palpation. That means you press, see any pain or not. If pain, that means there is uh, fractures or sprain or damage to the tendons or ligaments. So far, no pain, okay. Up to here now, the knee, up to here, the, the upper thigh, no pain. Huh? Then now I touch the, I touch the hip joint. Ah, there's like pain here. So, so we all know already the problem is here. Now the x-ray, now the x-ray, the ventral dorsal is the best. The ventral dorsal x-ray will show that uh, this is the left, huh? the, the left. This is the right hip. So we now we lo we localize on the problem, on the pain. So the, the hip joint, you can see, uh, this one is very clear that uh, this the right hip, the femoral head is inside the joint. So this is normal, very nicely in. Now on the, on the left side, you can see that this uh, femoral head has come out. It's called dislocation, not well, come out from the joint. So you can see there's a big space here. Very clear, there's a very small joint space. So from the clinical signs examination of pain in the hip joint and also from the x-ray evidence, you can see that this joint is slightly dislocated, not fully, fully the whole thing will come up and then the hip joint will come to here, the, the head will come to here. So this case is, is we call it a subluxation, not, not fully, it's uh, par partially come up. And so the good news is that it's likely to be able to, to recover now there are two operations, uh, two methods of treatment which the one asked me. So one method is we, we under anesthetic, we push the, the hip joint in and put a sling, sling for two to four weeks. So the dog will be inside here and then hopefully that this hip, this uh, femoral head will go into the joint and, uh, and the dog will recover. It's not 100% successful. But uh, this is a non-surgery method.
uh, the surgical method is to surgical method is to uh, is to uh, go in and cut off this uh, this uh, femoral head. So go in, cut like that, cut it down, cut away. This is the surgical method. Okay, it's called the reduction cut from here, here cut, cut away, and uh, the dog will will be able to walk very well, and uh, there's no more limping. And that one is uh, uh, knee surgery, the anesthesia. Now the, the, there's another surgical method done by some vets uh, where they put a, 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 a screw, they screw this part into this, this acetal, acetal below the hip, hip bone. That, that method, some vets, they, they, they prefer that method whereby they don't cut the fabric, right? they just push it in and they put a screw, screw here and a screw to here. So actually there are three methods of treatment of uh, hip dislocation. Okay, thanks.